staying away from the big the big apartment buildings where there's a there's a lot of big players out there. Yeah. I, again, we don't want to go into another big pond pond where we're gonna be we're gonna be too small of a fish to to compete with uh, with these people. Yeah. So we stay for the, the apartment building that are you know less than forty, uh, something that we can we can really. I don't, I don't like to say it, but not throw our weight, but where it's more the right size for us, where we can really make a difference and we can handle the project very, very well. You know, the thing is, it and sell. that that size property between 20 and 40 is a sweet spot because it falls. It's too small for the big players exactly. like the Marcus and Millichap, and it's too exactly. big for the for the, um, uh, you know, the residential realtors. Uh, they, right. they don't know how to how to how to market that thing. So there's a lot of opportunity there. And, and let me ask you, do you go directly to the owners when you're mm-hmm. looking to buy it? You go directly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's really in that niche, in that niche. That's the best way to do it. Absolutely. And also a lot of them, a the, lot of the, the properties that we bought in um in Memphis, they were actually owner managed. So the the the, uh, the owner was managing, was doing the property management, and they kind of get tired of doing the property management, and yeah. then they didn't yeah. maintain it as well. And their idea of the market rent is, uh, you know, and how to how to get the maximum market rent is very different than when we came in there. Uh, the first building that we bought, for example, uh, on uh, in Memphis. 20 unit, we go in there and then the guy's saying, oh, you know, the rent I think was like around $500. And then uh, we said, okay, well, you know, and we want to renovate it and stuff like that. So oh, don't bother renovating it. You can't get, uh, you can't get much more than that. This is pretty much market rent and all that. But we put like $10,000 $10, in each of the unit. And now we move the rent from 500 to three to 850. Yeah. Um, so that's the market rent, beautiful property. We spend a lot of time on the exterior as well. And you the know, previous also, owner didn't spend any money. It didn't, it didn't feel like there was a, any potential to earn more, more rent. Is it, you know, and also they don't want to ruffle any feathers. Yeah. They just want to keep it like, oh, hey, you know, we got old Mrs. Mrs. Franklin's down the street. And, she, you know, she's been there for a million years. Don't go up on her rent. She's fine. Yeah. And then these, these people don't realize, you know what? The water bill has gone up every single year. They never asked yeah. me to, you know, I've been a yeah. customer there as long as Mrs. Franklin and they still go up on mine. Same with my taxes. And yeah. it always amazes me. And this is, this is when I, I say, you know, the thing you need to understand about multifamily when you're looking at the financials are the categories and what the categories yeah. mean. And that loss to lease, if that loss to lease is close to a 10% differential. Yeah. That little old lady who's been running that property for the last 10 years is going to lose her job on day one because yeah. she's not going to be the one to increase your rents like they have yeah. to be. And, yeah. and, and you know, it, it's I had one property. Oh, you're going to love this one, Eric. I had this one property where we were at market. We were at market and we yeah. were setting the bar for the market, but we were at 96 percent occupancy. Mm-hmm. We had one unit available. Yeah. That's it. And yeah. And what do you do when you're at 96% alchemy? You start pushing the market. You start pushing yeah, yeah. the market. And she, oh my gosh, we can't do that, Charlie. We'll be the most expensive property in the in the whole area. And I said, okay, but I'd like <laughs> to get more money. Uh, what yeah. do you think? I said, how about this? Instead of going up the rents, can we ask for a $25 water fee? Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can do that. That's no problem. Yeah, that, that, it's like... <laughs> Then ask for the twenty five bucks. I don't really call, call, care what you call it, but we're gonna get more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's yeah, yeah, yeah. how it works. Oh, so, that's a good way to do it, yeah, too, because yeah. you can market then that apartment at at, uh, at market. A lower rent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, yeah. The, you hit them with all the add ons after that. Exactly.